What's up you guys, it's Message here and welcome to the 8th episode of Hardcore Iron Man Mode. As you might have seen already, we are going to start off by doing some quests. I want to complete uh, Merlin's Crystal and Holy Grail first, since I can get some decent prayer experience of those. Not that I really need it, but it is always nice to unlock Eagle Eye and Mystic Might, so I think I will be able to do that after uh, Holy Grail. So I will be back when I completed this quest, which is Merlin's Crystal. And that's a wrap guys, there it is, 6 quest points, quite a lot. Now I can just start Holy Grail and complete that quest as well. So uh, let's go I guess. And this is the quest completed, let's see what levels we can get. 45 exactly what I wanted and 44 defense, that's decent, not really that important but we can now use Mystic Might as well which is so helpful of course. And I don't know which quest I am going to do now. I think I'll do probably Monkey Madness or something. At least a quest where I can actually utilize my new Protect From Melee skill. Prayer. Whatever. So I have decided to do Monkey Madness. But I will need some law runes since these are all that I have. So I'm just going to complete this puzzle really quickly, buy some runes and then we can start the quest. Uh, that should be enough runes, let's start Monkey Madness. And here we go guys, that marks the start of Monkey Madness. We will be completing this in one go and hopefully we won't die doing so. And here we go for the final battle boys. Hopefully we won't die. I do have the prayers of course. So I'm just going to let the gnomes take it down to about 10 HP. And then I will just water blast it down. And that should be really easy. Hopefully. That is quest completed. God damn. That took quite a long time. I think I spent about two and a half hours doing this quest. But it is done. There we go, Monkey Madness completed, 3 diamonds, 10k, and we are going to do some juicy little training right fucking now. And here we are, let's put the training on attack, I think that will be the most important thing. So attack and defense is what we are going to do, we will of course get uh, experience in the other skills as well. But I just want to get 60 attack as soon as possible so we can start grinding out that dragon defender. Um, yeah, okay, close this down, please. And uh, what did we get? 49. All right, not, not too bad, I think, but it's not great because we can't really wear the uh, Dragon Scimitar. And I am going to... Uh, 60 combat, by the way. I'm going to buy a Dragon Scimitar now. Fuck. Yes. So that is one goal completed. And another goal is to get the Dragon Scimitar equipped. And that means that we will have to do some training. I need to do some AFKing anyway, so I'll probably put my account at Sandcrabs. But before we do that, I want to high alk my... Oh shit, I need to equip this one. My room battle axe, since I won't be needing that shit. There is some very nice GP. And then I will just go to the Heroes Guild. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just gonna buy a rune sword, is what I meant to say. But first, I want to enchant both of these beautiful amulets that I have. Well, ring and amulet. So we have a amulet of power right now. And another ring of life, which is really good. So now I'm gonna take the chronicle and buy some rune items. Yeah, it's uh, the champion's guild, by the way. Not the hero's guild. But here we go. Rune sword. And yes, I am going to buy a rune plate skirt. Since I am a beautiful lady. If you haven't noticed yet. A rune plate body. And that means that we have our gear in order. And before you say that I should get like the Berserker Helm and shit. I know that. I am perfectly aware of that. Probably should get climbing boots as well. But I just don't have the time to do that right now. And sand crabs are AFKable. So I do have the time to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, just gonna head off to the sand crabs now. We'll be back after we get like uh, a decent milestone. I'm not sure. But you'll see eventually. All set up, let's train some levels. Alright guys, so bear with me as I talk through this clip that looks absolutely horrendous with the black bars and stuff. But this clip is recorded with my laptop at school. Yeah, I've put my account there 
trained non-stop and after this hit there it is 60 attack yeah i actually recorded this in class but here you can see i can finally wield the dragon scimitar and that is quite insane so i'm using that right now and i will just hop into the live commentary in a second to show you where i am at the moment Okay, so this is where we are at right now. 60 attack and basically at 60 strength already. And that is mainly due to the fact that I can put my account, as I said, in uni uh, just at the sand crabs. I only have to walk like once every 10 minutes to a place like over here. You can't see it. It's not visible on the minimap. But just to reset them, you probably know what I'm talking about. And I will uh, probably just update you guys while I am at 60 strength, I guess. Shouldn't take that long since the Dragon Scimitar is giving me about 35k experience per hour. Quite insane, right? But uh, I'll be back in a second. And that is the last sand crab. There we go. 60 strength incoming. And that marks... Uh, yeah, not the end, actually. I think I'm gonna go on until 65-65 so we can get the Dragon Defender. Yeah, this is gonna be a long grind, for sure. Oh, and uh, 71 combat as well right now. That's quite nice. Oh boys, look at that. Just achieved 65 strength. Going to put it on a textile right now. Do a little spec over here and I fucked up my position. But I'm just gonna train for the next uh, 5 hours or something on attack. Until we finally reach 65 and 65. Should be good. Okay, shit, damn. Uh, wait a second, I forgot to record 65 attack again. Uh, well, not again, but I, I did it. 30 hours in, I, I got 65 attack and 65 strength. I don't have to be here anymore, but I still have loads of stuff to do. So I'll probably just put it on defense until tomorrow, I guess. And then we will grind out the Dragon Defender as well. Some quest for, uh, yeah, upgrading this fucking gear. Let's go. Well, since the audio was fucked off the last clip I recorded, I will have to do it again. But I did manage to hit 60 defense, which means that I can wield dragon armor. Quite insane. But I am going to train some more strength now, since I don't really have time to do any quests or get the dragon defender. Since, yeah, I'm, I'm just pretty much no lifing uh, studying right now while of course being at sand crabs so uh yeah let's see how far we can get in terms of strength levels and then after that maybe uh, in a couple of hours i will have some free time so we can complete some quests would be nice all right then we are done for now 68 strength and 79 combat and that is all I did basically for the last couple of hours. What I am going to do now, if I can click this guy correctly, is do the Fremenic Trials. Because that would give a very decent upgrade to my helmet, which is currently like shit. So yeah, let's go do that. And by the way, I got quite a lot of these emeralds and diamonds and stuff. And that is because I, I, I mean, I wasn't really paying attention. But when I was resetting, I just looked on the ground of my sand crab spot. If there was any caskets. And if you do open the caskets, they have a very, very high chance of dropping a, uh, yeah, a jewelry shit thing so that's quite decent um and that's a tip for you guys please do open the caskets if you're doing sand crabs okay so as you can see we are not doing the fremenic trials just yet and that is because i want to get my crafting up to level 40 first and that will enable me to do the quest a little bit easier otherwise i'll just have to hope for an uncommon drop of some guy that only respawns like every 18 seconds yeah i i just read that off the wiki but uh i should be able to pick like 1300 flex to get my crafting up to level 40 shouldn't be that big of a deal and i will need the bowstring eventually for uh doing some maple longbows and shit so yeah this is gonna be good all right so there we go we did about 1300 let's see where they are there they are now i will be doing those into bowstrings and lumbridge so uh yeah we'll be back when i got that done as well and here we go that is the last flex that i am going to spin for 40 crafting here it comes after this one there we go 40 crafting just going to finish all of these of course so we uh yeah don't have any flags laying around the bank this is probably not the best way to do it though but that means that we can finally do foraminic trials and that is what i'm going to do right fucking now here we are at the start of the foraminic trials just started the quest and 
I think I'll be back at the difficult part where I have to like kill a guy without any armor and shit. That might be dangerous. Just came back from the bank and this is my inventory for the last trial that I'll have to do which is going to be a little bit dangerous. I did set up my quick prayers to be that. I shouldn't be wasting that by the way but um, yeah fuck this. I hope I won't die. Let's see about that though. Okay so uh... That was way easier than I expected. Like, uh, I only used one lobster. I didn't even have to use it. But I was just uh, making sure that if I did DC, then I wouldn't die. But, I mean, I spent way too much time thinking this through. Probably. And here is the quest completed. 28k experience drop. And do we get any levels? I think we will. Hit points is the only one. Alright, I was, I like expecting something way better i was building up towards getting like 10 levels but all right that definitely didn't happen so what i am going to do now is that's not gonna work i'm gonna buy a berserker helm since that is a very very decent upgrade to my current setup and then i will probably just put my account back at sandcrabs again yay and that's it. Let's buy the Berserker Helm. Equip it. And that looks... Uh, yeah, quite ugly. But it is a very good helm. And it is, of course, an upgrade from what I did have previously. So, this is also the ending of the episode, guys. Next episode, I will probably just uh, start off at Sandcrabs, as usual for now. Still in the middle of my exam, so that is why I am doing that at the moment. Sorry for that. Hope you still enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. And then I will definitely see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.